what is up guys today i'm bringing you something a little bit special not only am i doing a tutorial for today's video but i'm also dropping a drum kit along with this video so the link to purchase it will be down in the description and so that means all the sounds i use in this video will also be inside that drum kit along with this melody and its midis so in case you want to switch some stuff up you're allowed to do that so uh let's go ahead and just get into it so i'll play the melody So that's the melody we're going to be working with and uh, I figured just the melody is inside the drum kit So I figured I would use it just to kind of show you what all is inside of it uh, So the like how much of everything like the claps and how many of those are inside the drum kit I'll put put that up on the screen right now so you can see that uh, But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do Is I'm gonna go like that put pattern one right there and I'm gonna start adding the claps so that you can get some bounce in it. Oh shoot, that's not the right one. Right here. Nope. All right, now we're gonna bring up the velocity on all of it. And we're gonna loop this first four bars cause I only, I usually like to work in four bars and then I make it unique at the end. So uh, I don't know if I did this, okay, yeah. Next I'm gonna add the hi-hats. It's just a simple, Hat it like that, so I'm gonna just go two, but I'm gonna do something different with them. Every, I think that's every four like beats, I'm gonna take out this one, so it's gonna sound like. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add the open hat. Sounds like this, and so we're gonna take it and put it right here. And I will be showing uh, how I mix and kind of arrange all my beats just so that you guys can kind of see that and learn the process. And if this video is a success and it gets a lot of likes, uh, I'll also do like a mixing and mastering tutorial for anyone that wants to know how to do all that. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and add the stomp. Sounds like this. Oh, oh didn't mean to drag that in. We're going to take it and we're going to... So what I did with it is it originally was like this. Oh, there we go. Just resetting all this. I kind of edited it so that it would not take too long, but I want you guys to see this. So what I do is I drag the attack, the hold, the decay, the sustain, and the release all the way down, but I bring the hold all the way up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to this and I'm going to go boom, boom, boom like that. And then you got to go in and you got to edit it. And we're going to take it and we're going to drag it like that. So now, whenever it plays, it's going to sound like this. All right, next we got a perk. Just kind of a little like, it's almost like a stick. So we're going to add that on the offbeat. So... I got this little metro booming laugh I use a lot. <laughs> uh, we're gonna add that right here, and then we're gonna bring the volume of it down a little bit so it's not too loud. <laughs> Next, we got my 808. This is my baby right here. We gotta normalize it and reverse the polarity of it. Um, I don't usually mess with any of this, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna click in the pattern I want. So I think I'm gonna want it like this. So hold on, let me just listen. Yeah, this is what I want. I think I might add a little bit of like this action going on right here. You gotta make sure to cut it also, otherwise you get that weird like distortion. So. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be, since I'm in the piano roll, I'm gonna take it up and I'm gonna make sure it's all in tune to where I want it to be. Um, I'm gonna bring this one up. Sometimes it's fun to have like a little different notes. So. back 
down. Put us all in two. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna copy it and then paste it on there. That's just control C. And then I'm clicking this and control V. I'm gonna come in here, but I'm gonna bring all these notes back down to C because that's the root note of this, or it's like the key of this kick. And so I wouldn't wanna take it off. Otherwise it wouldn't hit as hard. And we're gonna bring the velocity all the way up on all that too. And then come in here, velocity all the way up. So now, take this we're gonna make this 808 we're gonna delete this but we're gonna make this 808 we're gonna copy it and then bring it over here delete these notes bring this half of it up make sure all this is in tune um yes that's how i want it yeah everything should be good bring it back down oh what the heck i want the whole thing here we go bring it back down and then, but since we're still on that four bar loop, we won't mess with that until we get back there. And we're going to kind of do the same thing with this. We'll just find them. Like this. And I think I have the two. Uh, the two are going to be right here like that. And then. But we're still gonna mess with the four bar. So we're gonna bring all this back in. All right, now we're gonna take highlight everything, come to the mixer, go like this, channel routing, route selected channel starting from this track, boom. Now everything's in, in order. And so we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of start messing with this. So sometimes what I like to do is just so that, oh, what the heck? All right, we'll leave that actually. Just so it's not like, since this is in a sample pack or not a sample pack, like in my drum kit, a lot of people might be getting it. So if you use this, you don't want it to sound all the same. So gross beats a good way to kind of like change how it sounds. So triplet speed, I'm gonna try that. See how even just that changed the like sound of it completely. So we're gonna use that and then we're gonna And what I'm looking for when I EQ is I'm not looking to take out the sound like if I go like this, it doesn't sound like anything. You wanna make sure you leave the sound, but just take out the harshness of it. And you wanna kinda carve out areas for other sounds so like you don't want anything in this lower area because that's where the 808 is going to sit so you kind of want to make sure you have enough room for that and then we're going to do the clap some something that uh someone taught me one time i'm going to move this down is you open up the phaser and then you click this twice one two and then you have a different sound for the hi-hats it sounds more spacey so we're gonna take this like that so make sure you got all this <laughs> all right now the 808 nothing real special here just kind of make sure that you i kind of boost around the 130 just a little bit though and then i cut off to make it a little harder and then the kick um the kick i do some special stuff with i get a soft clipper and i have a preset for it and then i have a special thing for the kick on the eq and then I come to more plugins and then I get camel crusher and I'm kind of leaking all the sauce here, but then I get kick and I have a preset for that, but then I bring it down a little bit cause otherwise it's too hard. And I know what this kick sounds like already. So I'm not going to play it. You'll just hear it. And so then we're going to go like this, bring everything down. And then I have this fruity limiter on 
but it's not on for everybody. Sometimes if you just go to open from new template, mine has this basic limiter on it for some reason. I could set it to default as empty, but I, I don't know why I don't. I just kind of like having it. I'm used to it. So I just make sure I shut it off every time I do this. And then I slowly start to bring everything up. I play it. And you almost want to go for a vibe. You don't want any sound too harsh or anything too hard. Like you just want the vibe. You just want, if someone were to listen to it, you just want them to just be like not in their head. You know, if it doesn't make your head nod, you're not doing it right. So. All right, now we're going to bring this up to, there's like marks right here on mine. I think that's about where it is. And so I bring it up to about the third one, but I don't pass the third one. Then I kind of listen a little bit more, see what stuff is low. And then I come here, open Fruity Multiband Compressor, Presets, Mastering 2.4, and then bring the knob up. All right, so we're gonna split this by channel now. That sounds how I want it to. And we're gonna take everything down. And then we're gonna make this laugh eight bars because I don't want that. And then I remember we made the kick eight bars and this eight bars. So now we're gonna take all this, bring it over. I want the clap and the hi-hat. Sometimes some fun stuff to do is you have the melody for the first eight bars and then you kind of solo it. So Oh wait, I don't usually have a kick. And then it'll slow up. And then you'll bring all the other stuff back in after another eight bars for the four bar hook. So then you just copy this, bring it over, copy this, bring it over, and then copy this, bring it over for the final hook. Oh, what the heck? Delete that. I don't know why I did that. Copy this, bring it over, and then fade out with that. And so then you got, I'll bring the tag in later for the full beat, but this is what you have. <laughs> And something you can also do is uh, on the eight bar, don't do that. Take it and then bring it over and then it's like. Uh, see, I messed up. I right, so I didn't cut it at the beginning. So now everything is out of order. So this is a common mistake if you don't know what's happening because it's very small. So now I got to take everything and drag it back so that there's nothing. And then I got to delete it all and reorganize it. But you don't need to see all that. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial here. Uh, if you want the drum kit, it'll be in the description. It'll be $20. It'll be on my website. So you can go ahead and just order it, instant delivery, everything. So uh, 
thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed comment if you want more stuff like this on my channel if you want me to just keep it straight beats let me know uh yeah see you guys next time